Mm -hmm. You will find a three pressure, three mm -hmm. bar pressure, pre infusion. Okay. Is that a video or? No, it's just a. Uh, Leaving this way. Okay, then I'm lifting the piston and I'll be still on three bar. So in that moment, I'm getting water into my coffee pot, into the whole group, and it's saturizing the coffee pot. Okay? All the way up, but the pressure will still be the same. So, that those there, it's what it will go into the coffee pot and then into the cup. So that's where you decide where you want to be with the handles. Obviously, if you get that's for maximum. If you go for minimum, you'll be high. <coughs> Is that clear? Let's go next. Then as soon as, as soon as I'm releasing, then I will remember I can pre-charge the spring. So I decide what's my top pressure. And remember, you will have the top pressure just at the first. Now, on the doses, you will get maximum pressure on the maximum amount of those. So on the first, how do you call it, notch? On the first notch. It's pretty obvious that if you get, it's pretty obvious that if you get less water, you're not charging the spring full. So if you're getting 10 bar at the beginning, you're more likely to get 6 bar, 7 bar at the bottom. I guess it's pretty obvious. Yeah. If I'm compressing the, the spring too much, I'm getting maximum pressure. If I'm compressing the spring half, I'm not getting half the pressure, but I'm getting half it a bit. And you can tell, you can see that on displays and on the gauge. It will tell you everything. Moving on. Pressure releasing, obviously, from the peak pressure, which is 9, 10, whatever you prefer. Then, the spring releases power. And, obviously, you'll see the pressure going from 9, going slowly down. And that's the case. Again. That's the spring all the way. That's the spring all the way, and that's, again, we've got no pressure. So, trivia question. If I put a blind photo filter, what will happen? Mm -hmm. you, will, you will get a higher pressure. Where? In the pressure field. And how can I solve that problem? So, if, if I'm getting too fine and the coffee doesn't allow the water to go through, how can I remove the water filter? You, you, you open the screw. No, that will that will explode. Will push. We'll keep the the cylinder or the the piston inside. No, next. It is the inspection button. No, next. I just the grinder. Easy. Yeah, but you got the problem. Big <laughs> <laughs> two size branch and. Charge it. I don't know how many riders I have, but it's exactly the same function of the rear spring of a motorbike. If you make this change, if yeah. you compress, yeah. it's pre-compressed. So when you ask him, it's easy to compress, but it will give you a lot more power at the back. Okay. So if you need more pressure, remember at the top, you need to compress the spring. If a customer wants to make this copy a 12 bar, you have to compress the spring. And yeah, you have to compress it. Uh, that's by bleeding the boiler. So that's what happened. That's the wrong image. That's the wrong image. But that's the, will the effect of changing the Yeah, pressure. that's basically, you see on the graph what happened. If I'm compressing, I'm lifting the graph up. So I'm starting on 13, going all the way down. Obviously, if I'm releasing it, I'm just going to go down to 10 or 9, 8, 7, whatever you prefer. Why is it saying bleeding in the corner? I don't know. Because it's not an end of time. It's in the end of time. No, no. Alright. Um, go down. <coughs> Next. Two versions of 
the label. We've got an S and X. Now, on the main difference is the S has two characteristics less than an X. It doesn't have independent boiler, so you have massive boiler that will hold the same temperature on three grips. And it doesn't have screens. <coughs> no, no screen display. No screen, no displays. No, sorry, no screen display. Yeah. The S, it only has a gauge. Yeah. Yeah. To monitor the... To monitor the pressure. Not in the... Um, Not in a, in a visual thing. See what's going on properly. Oh, it does. But you don't have a display. So visually, it doesn't really help that much. It's kind of like having numbers on the speedometer of a car. Or... It does have a lot. I'm not coffee on the S. I'm not just don't have a screen. So maybe it's a bit of a... Yeah. So, um... Again, keep going. Uh, yeah, that looks like a bit complicated, but here you can see how the actually you know, the steam valve is different as well. Yes. So the three important things to know about the S is no preheater. See here, preheater yeah. blocked. Single boiler instead of multiple boilers, yes. and mechanical steam valve instead of electronic. Yes. It's the three big things. I forgot the steam valve. What model of label that? That's an S. S. That's an S. And you can say it as Mike says because it's got mechanical steam valve, one boiler, and no preheater. On the other side, we've got a level X. Which has a preheater. It has a preheater, independent boiler, displays, and electronic steam valve. Please ask us, can we have a three second rinse? Yes, we can. We can make a three second rinse. Can we have um, programmable by numbers the pulses? Yes, we can. Can we have scales? Yes, we can have scales. We have colours, yes, you know, in any colour you like. So this the Linear PB answered every question that was asked us by Barista at the time. Then we went on and developed different versions of the Strata, the Strata EEs on the on the yeah, on and off. EEs so and similar for, uh, Yes, exactly the same yeah. effect as the same. But program for pre infusion. Ah, this is the in the Strata, yeah. The EE stands for Elegazioni Electronica, which means Electronic water delivery. Uh, irrigation. Electronic irrigation. Irrigation. So, yes, it is really more of this. But much more being involved. And then we mentioned the new mini. Again, the linear mini we made it. It was the most expensive home machine money can buy. We thought I knew it might sell it. This year, the pages. Then we started making the EP with scales, the um as it developed as And again, we patented it, other people followed us.
we redesigned it as the GS3, so the, um, the third version of the GS, which is a commercial machine, but it's not really considered a home machine. If you see how this is, you can use it. Please buy the machine. Yeah, GS3. Yeah. Um, and in 2007, we also started to make the FP80, which is the 80 year anniversary. So it's a GP5 outside, and a, so inside, and a, a different shape on the outside. And we stopped making this this year. Stop. Yeah, there's no more FP80. So what does that mean? It means Fratelli Bambi, the Bambi brothers. 80. 80. Now actually, the GB5 stands for Giovanna Bambi. So our honorary president today is uh, Piero. Piero is the son of Giuseppe Bambi. And uh, he was running the factory, running the company up until the 2000s. So now he's the honorary president. And the, G the GB5 was named after his wife, Giovanna. In 2009, we started making the Strada. So the Strada is interesting because um, in 2009, we just had the, like, the global financial crisis. And instead of making a cheap machine, we made an expensive machine. Because we are always in pursuit of excellence, regardless of the financial problems of the world, we made an expensive machine, full of technology, which answered a lot of questions for the rest of us. we have super stable temperature, can we have variable pressure, um, can we have a machine that is ergonomic? So this machine has a big drip tray, long spinning ones. If you're a barista, the drip tray is your desk. And you can put stuff on the drip tray, you can empty stuff in the drip tray, you can put any size jug in a steam wand, you can use levers, paddle, remember the paddle from 1970, we used the paddle because it feels nice. So we made the most working on the machine, which turned out to be, at the time, the most expensive espresso machine in the world. And it was a success. We also revisited the design. We made a grinder in the 1960s. 1968 actually won an award at the, uh, the World Expo. Coffee, powder so inside. So that can happen, that when you're tidying this one, you're not tidying that little screws there. So you, when you're tidying, you need to hold that and then tighten. Oh. Do you see the little thing? Huh. Because if you move this one, it will move. If you release it, it will move. But you, before you place it, you need to remove this, tight up that screw, yeah. okay. then put it back, then hold that and tighten. Because otherwise, when you tighten, it will move again. So try that. Put it back together. Don't worry about the plates at the moment because it won't go back. So let's, we're going to put it just aside. Put it back and um, yeah, we're going to claim this. And just when we finish Modbur, we're going to show you how to claim part and how the spare parts works. Oh, I see. Okay, in person, like, like they, they come, you're the manager, I guess, of them. So they come to you and say, I need this part, can you claim it? Because otherwise we're going to have a bunch of accounts related to one company, which is all right, but it's much better to file trade one, all the requests on one. So you have a list of parts that you need to claim, like you go on the manual, you go on the part catalog, you see where it comes from, it says, hey, I need this, it got broken. It was already broken because I opened it, I did that and it came off. So, uh, so it comes to you guys? It comes straight to us, like me yeah. and him. Yeah. When we accept it, it's me clicking on the accept. I'll show you, we'll we'll show you the process what a, what a claim looks like when it arrives with us. So what we get, well we'll show you now. We're going to do it before Mudbur or you, we're going to just talk about the scene let's, like uh, let's do. Um, Let's do the, the tech center first. Well, tech center. Center. All right, so guys, go and sit down. I'll close this. One At question. least you see it. One question. If I have a list of things that I'm going to claim on, not one, as you see, you keep uh, a lot. So, uh, one by one? No, no, one machine by one machine. Ah, one machine by one machine. So, if you want to claim yeah, something yeah, from a machine, we need to know the serial number of the machine. Yeah. We can only claim. By, by serial number. If you want, if you put the serial number of the machine in, then we can. Lamazoko, it will ship with no free It will ship with no free on your next order. Okay, we get a lot of uh, 
not a lot, but a few machines that drip the trays not fit. It's yes, a little bit bigger. What do you mean? Um, the, 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 the drainage. Yeah. yeah. The drip the tray. That's the case. It's not fit. That's the case. It's a little bit bigger. If it doesn't fit, send us a video. Hey, Silvio, this is not right. Mm -hmm. We'll send you one straight away. That's how it works. It has to work like that. Because we want to support you in terms of not just a shake hand or a t-shirt or a bracelet. We want to put you in the best position to work with your customer. Because if a customer has a problem, you have a problem, you get upset with me because I'm sending you a shit machine and the, 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 the game is broken. No. As soon as you open it, something doesn't fit, take a picture, not to be an arrogant. You pay for it, and you have to get the best service from us. Obviously, don't abuse it <laughs> in terms of like, don't drop a machine on the floor and say, hey, it's, it's broken. And we truly believe in training because what we need to do is we need to teach you to change the right part. Don't go in front of a machine and change a board. It's, it doesn't work like that. It works like to go on, always on the cheapest thing and have a quick look on what is the real problem. Because obviously that's the board is faulty. Something made the board faulty. The board is pretty stupid things. As Mike said, it's something that does it every time the same thing. Sometimes it is faulty, fair enough. But sometimes it's a volumetric, it could be a solenoid, it could be... Don't go just and change the board. That makes sense, right? So when, when we have a claim and we show you later how to do it, what we get is details, date, serial number, serial number of the machine, so it's an LM7857, and then finally we get all the part numbers that he's claiming. So we have a pump for a G string, a washer, a fitting, a washer a check 12, and then I'm, I'm asking you, or on the, on the form, you can go, when you installed it, which is the 20th of 9, 9, 2019, the customer info, that could be you, who's the, who, um, the company, and then, name and surname, email so I can contact him, symptoms experience, falling part, doesn't work. Could be a pressure gauge, could it be everything else. But then he goes, it's broken, See you attach the image. Um, the end of the computer will be me or my opening the imaging and seeing that it's broken. So that's a fitting on the pipe and it's broken. Now, in a normal world, well, obviously you're in front of the customer and you wanted to fix it. So what do you do? It's you probably have another motor of that and just changing it. But we need you to supply you with the part that you change because we don't want you to waste money on our machine. Did you get me? Yes. So if you, if you are in front, obviously don't stand in front of a customer, take a picture and walk away. Help them, fix them, but then as soon as you come back to the warehouse, you have a list of parts that you've changed. So you go back in front of the, in front of the computer and tell, hey, I changed this, this, this and that because and then obviously I'm going to see this picture I'm going to send you everything because that's not normal. Okay. But that can happen. Okay. One question, a related question. Uh, one of my customers, he ordered the head, new head. Yeah. Yeah, but four to line for five days then, the water came from that uh, uh, oh, small... Not this one? Yes. Yeah, one for a new one. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a black and oil seal on the shaft, uh, if the shaft runs dry, so if they run it with no water, it's lubricated by water, if you run it dry, then they shut the, the seal breaks and the uh, water comes out of those holes. Yeah, so, so can I claim? You can claim, yes. Yeah. Obviously, we do, have, we do have a warranty period. One year and a half so what, since the shipping. What comes to us is if you see here, yeah, we can accept. Standard. We can accept and ask for the parts back. We can put it in standby. So if we ask you a question, so if I want to know some more information about this pump, <coughs> I can. I'll, I'll send you an email. Hey, I've got this warranty claim. 
please tell me more information, send me a picture, send me a video, okay. if I want to understand more, or I can reject it. If I reject your warranty claim, we will always email you first. Okay. We will tell you, there's a problem with this warranty claim, you claim the wrong part, the part the machine was not in warranty anymore, or if you're claiming, say, a gasket or a, um, a repair kit for a, a steam valve, we'll say, look, listen, these parts are not covered by warranty, and we'll email you and tell you, what you why we're rejecting it. We will never just reject it without telling you why, and more often than not, we'll tell you we're rejecting it because you ordered the wrong part number, here's the correct part number, make a new claim. Most of the time, for example, happen with scales. Now, on the, on the ADR, some people might experience some problem just with a load cell. And on the warranty claim, they put the whole cell, like the whole ADR cell. You don't need to do that. It's not because we don't want to send it to you, it's just because you need to open the cell, just change the load cell, and you'll be fine. So we want to reject it, and that's it. We were rejecting it, saying, that is broken. You don't need to change the plastic cover. The plastic cover is fine. Or sometimes they read wrong on the catalog. That can happen. They can happen that they read the part number from another uh, model, and that's not the same because they're not compatible. And most of the time, it's for that. Okay. So when you log into the tech center, that's this fine. is this is the screen you get. So in the tech center, you get uh, all these headings and a picture of each machine. If you click any one of these machines, you can get... You get to log in again, because you can take that out. <laughs> so you, look at, you see this screen. If you click a machine, it takes you to the screen for this machine, and you can see the part catalog, any videos or uh, any other background information we have about this machine. The firmware, so if you need to download firmware, you want to update to the latest firmware, it's here. And any software you need, it's all in here as well. If, if I want to update that firmware, the only thing that I need is USB. Uh, on the linear PB, yes, you only need USB. Hmm. For Strada EV. Need the Strada EV, extra. you need an extra, uh, an extra box of tricks called... Uh, Sinabi sa'yo, kasama talaga to. 
Hmm. Eh, ingin pinangkat anginnya dulu ya, sabi ini Ini langsung terlalu berapaan Ahul ada pi shop sawi kulu sa sawi boya baden sen kuis baden Abdullah kalam shil kulu baden sen sen shop boya baden assemble lagi shoot spider boleh nada shop muar muar tu sini kalau pasang tu lah tu kan ano Hello, kumusta kayo dyan? Sige si Ken. Ken! Kumusta?
naman na yun. Apat siya kuya. Oo, oh, ito pa pala. Mga boy. Alam ah, pa mo. Pasko pa ko yan. Pikarban makina. Ini. Mungkin J Street. Ini. Mungkin mana? Anaro. Mangan, mapi. Nak tulah kalau di makina J Street kawan. Itaru mahal mapi. Mapi. Mungkin di sana itu customer. Ayo sen. Mungkin non sen di sana. Yeah, 
lalo Prima yung paint yung nilagay dito Ayan o Tapatutaypan natin ito ha Ayun o Tayo rin kasi mahirapan eh No? Salamat Wala naman Wala naman kasi sila pakalang dito Ipinturahan talaga ng lino Ano di tayo maglalala dito
Wala na kasing kung ano siya. Wala ko naman natin sila ito. Ayan. Kahit sa ano nung kawin na ano eh. Yan. Kahit sa ano nung kawin mo. Oh, one, two, three. Yan. Yan. How? Nalik sa 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 pa. Sabi ko sa Saudi, kung di natin kayo sa atin, pakasin natin.
Tapos balik na nga sa, sa original siya ko.
Next. Ano na tayo? Linis. Ito, hindi na ito. Ito, hindi na lang ito pinipitraan eh, di ba? Hindi na. Ito, pinipitraan. Ito, ito. Thank you. 